Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you today about some pack code that might be bringing some supply before we get to the Summer Stars promo. As we know, a lot of SBC fodder, Team of the Weeks, Team of the Season cards are very expensive on this game at the moment with all the SBCs that are acquiring them. And I think with the pack code that we have seen and what we're going to look at in a second, we might see some supply for those cards, or at least EA's trying to put them in people's clubs with some of the pack code that we have to look at today. Also, we have new objectives. We have Weekend League Plus objectives, which I was not expecting because, again, usually those only come out on non-promo weekends, but we did get a new set of those for this coming weekend. We'll talk about that. And uh, all of the PTG upgrades are confirmed for this coming Friday. We'll talk about that and again what could happen today on Wednesday. Probably going to be a quiet day because of course there are no Euro games happening. We are waiting until Friday until those next games. So let's move on and talk about this pack code that was tweeted out by Footwatch yesterday. Now there's two things in here, right? Two things. First thing is the 81 plus team of the week player. Now this is not a new thing to have, a team of the week SBC. We have a team of the week SBC that is in FIFA right now and it's been out for a long time. The issue is it has not been 81 plus and I've been talking about this and this is actually like the third these two things here and the price ranges EA must be watching these videos boys because these are three things that we have talked about that needed to be fixed and EA has responded accordingly in a short time period so I'm not taking credit for it but GG's EA uh, 81 plus team league player which in my opinion these team league upgrade SBCs should be 81 plus all the time this was out for like 30 days or something it's expiring today I think that we are going to see that 81 plus team of the week player SBC put out into the game today on Wednesday probably out for a long time because that's going to be an SBC that of course there are no team of the week cards that are in packs so EA puts that out so that we can supply our clubs by doing one of those SBCs now it's probably not going to be tradable I guess it could be. So we'll see what happens with, with that today. But I 100% expect that SBC, and hopefully it has the same requirements as this Team League upgrade. So just an 82-rated squad or less would be fantastic for this 81-plus Team of the Week player. Now, the other thing is this Team of the Season player rated 85 to 90. And this is the one that I think is going to be the most interesting because I could really see this one being repeatable. Uh, or tradable, one of the two, because of course, as you guys know, right now on this game, SBC fodder is expensive, but especially the team of the season and team of the week, SBC fodder. Take a look at some of these cards, 88 rated tots, 62K, basically all team of the season cards, um, unless they're 85 rated, are 60,000 coins a piece for SBCs. And this is 100% needed in this game. We need to have supply. Now, if it's only gonna be a one-time, non-repeatable, untradeable SBC, then I really don't know how that's going to impact the market that much. I really hope this is tradable for one. If you guys have still have any of those TOTS cards in your club, I mean, my recommendation, if you want to take the safe route, would just be to sell it, right? I mean, there's 60 freaking K. You probably bought it for like 30 K at the most, or you still have some in your club from like two months ago or a month and a half ago when TOTS was going on. So in my opinion, I would be selling the tradable TOTS cards in your club because I mean, there's a possibility that this one could come out today and tradable. Of course, I don't know if it's going to be tradable or untradable, repeatable or non-repeatable, but I kind of hope that it is repeatable and tradable or some mix of tradable and, you know, I want it to be tradable because I want to add some of those cards to the market because right now all SBCs are basically a scam and a ripoff because fodder is so expensive and if they require a team of the week or a team of the season, then that just makes the SBC even more stupid expensive. So I hope for these SBCs that are remaining here that are going to be expiring or not expiring before Friday, that they make that pack today tradable. So that is actually the 85 to 90 TOTS player and the 81 plus team of the week. I might expect those both today. Now, I don't, the 85 to 90, like you may look at that and be like, man, that's not really that hype because I mean, what good team of the season cards are below 90 rated? There's not that many. But again, what I really think that that SBC specific um, you know, objective is for this market is to literally supply the market with team of the season cards for SBCs. I think that's why EA have added it to the code. And that's why I think it could be tradable because I think they know that some of these cards need to be put on the market because right now these cards at like 60,000 coins 
are just ridiculously, ridiculously expensive um, for SBCs at the moment. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. And that's the biggest thing from the code that I would be expecting today to see in the game. Now, again, I don't know if it's going to be tradable, untradable or whatever, but I do expect at least one of those, the 81 plus team week today, for sure. The 80, 85 to 90 tots in the next couple of days, a hundred percent. So that's kind of what's going on with the SBC fodder. Now I don't expect like all of the 84 and 85 rated cards to drop a ton just yet. I know today is Wednesday rewards are coming later tomorrow. Uh, or like, I guess you could say tonight. I mean, I'm not even going to buy that ZH for 12K because why? But um, e these cards, 85s are still 17,000 coins, which are a bit expensive. And, you know, 84s are still in the high, uh, almost, you know, eight, 9,000 coin range. So fodder is still expensive. And I do think that it is going to drop. Never mind, 84s are 11K after the 83 times 10. I'm, I forgot about that one. I haven't even done that SBC yet. I should probably do that and save it for Friday. Um, but again, this stuff is staying high because there's like no supply. We have maybe a, a daily SBC or two that's going to supply us stuff on the market, but it's continuing to stay high in price. So that's kind of the fodder situation on this game. Be watching out for these two SBCs today, maybe one of the two, uh, but I'm really curious to see if any of these come out as impacting the market in terms of a tradable uh, back from that SBC. Because for me, both of these SBCs just scream fodder, right? I mean, you look at that, you're like, okay, that's literally a fodder SBC. So they have to be cheap, number one, and probably repeatable, number two. So I guess an option for this would be they can make it uh, repeatable, but untradeable. Uh, and that would be something that we see today for that 85 to 90. So kind of keep that out there as well as a potential um, so that you could go do this TOTS player upgrade to get a fodder team of the season card, maybe for an 82 or 83 rated squad that you could use to put in whatever SBC you're wanting to do. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. Now let's talk about a little bit more code. There was some footwatch tweet. There's a lot of footwatch tweets yesterday. A lot of stuff that EA was adding to the code that maybe was FIFA 22 related, maybe was, you know, something that's going to come out during summer stars. Some of this stuff is just really interesting. People are, are saying there's new icons that are going to be added to FIFA 22 based off of this code. EA added a bunch of teams, like actual clubs into the code. And they also changed some things around. There's a do team. Uh, there's a team in the code called the foot 21 icons in the latest update. EA renamed it to the icons club. And they also added a new team called the foot heroes club. Now, right away when I saw this, I got to thinking and that kind of reminded me of back in FIFA 18. We had this, uh, we had these cards that were basically, they were called classic European heroes. And with some of the nationality and some of the teams that were added yesterday with the footwatch code as well, it almost has me thinking that maybe they're going to do some sort of drop in FIFA of some classic European heroes. That could be way off. That's just kind of my two cents right now. Some of this we might not even see until FIFA 22, but footwatch tweeted out a lot of stuff. You can see here too, they added the England division five league of Cyprus, uh, just a lot of really kind of weird slash random stuff. So maybe EA will, you know, give us some more explanation on what that stuff is and where it's going to be coming from. Um, so I guess maybe we can get our hopes up and, th and think about getting some European heroes or something like that. Uh, or else this may just be completely unrelated to that at all. So that's kind of one thing that we're looking at on this market right now. Um, but again, it is Wednesday, right? Yesterday we had an 83 times 10, which is a pack that obviously you want to save until uh, Friday, at least when the new content comes out, when those new players and packs come out. Cause as of right now, again, we're just kind of spinning our wheels and grasping onto whatever content EA gives us in this game, because we are waiting for that uh, summer stars promo. That's going to come out on Friday with the promise of pretty big juiced up cards. Now, yesterday's content was decent. I'm a fan of it, of course, as a um, somebody who lives and is a fan of the United States with the Altador, the Brooks, and the McKenney cards. W uh, for me. Now, honestly, I'm going to wait until the fodder goes down. And honestly, the 80, 83 times 10, I don't even know if I would do this right now. I mean, I don't even want to know how much this, this SBC cost. An 83 times 10 pack, for an 84 rated squad, Footbin has this coming in at 125,000 coins. Now it does expire in a couple days. So maybe if I can do this from the club or maybe if tomorrow they do a team of the week 81 plus, I'll be able to get my team of the week or team of the season player a lot easier uh, and then go from there and, and maybe be able to, to do that SBC for cheaper depending on what I pull from that SBC. But I mean, yeah, that right there, 
is a, an SBC that you're probably just holding on to until the Friday new promo. And then, of course, yesterday with England beating Germany 2 0, and of course, Ukraine um, beating out Switzerland. I mean, sorry, not Switzerland, um, Sweden. We had a couple more cards that were guaranteed to have upgrades on Friday. All the PTG wins are confirmed Phil Foden, Chilwell, Hazard, Acuna, Paredes. Grealish, Morata, Llorente, Verratti. Um, I'm forgetting a couple. I'm forgetting a couple right now. Oh, did I say Florenzi? Did I say... I, th I think maybe that's all of them. But that should be... Oh, Thorgan Hazard. Those will be all of the PTG cards that will be upgraded on Friday. They'll be getting a plus one for those cards that have not... That have already gotten an upgrade. So your, your Verratti will go to a 97. He'll get a plus one. Uh, your Thorgan Hazard will get a plus one since he's already got a plus two. But your Morata... And your Yorente, Yorente is going to be going to a 96 uh, after getting their third win in the competition. Acuna is getting a plus two as well, going to a 96. Foden's getting a plus two, going to a 96. Chilwell plus two, Hazard plus one. He'll be going to a 98. So big upgrades coming on Friday. All those are confirmed now um, since all the games are basically over until the weekend. We have those confirmed upgrades, which... It's very nice. And of course, with those wins yesterday and with those uh, confirmed upgrades and win thresholds being achieved, you saw this Phil Foden card, I mean, absolutely fly. 985, almost a million coins right now for this Phil Foden. The English hype was crazy yesterday. I know a lot of you guys, it's coming home, right? You guys are believing that it's coming home. A lot of the team of the season cards, uh, and just this is one thing to always watch out for, right? And we, we've, been, we've mentioned this multiple times, but players that perform well in real life, uh, people get on FIFA literally right after the games and go buy those cards up. This Sterling is a really rare item. He shot up today in price a lot. The Bukayo Saka uh, Future Stars item actually exploded today in price as well. He was almost extinct at one point. Again, this card is super duper rare regardless. Uh, and you can see here that, I mean, one undercut at above what his normal price was. You know, some of these cards are selling just off of the hype of that England victory yesterday. So a lot of people went out and bought some of those England cards after the game. Now, again, as we get closer into the weekend with the big games that we have coming up, just watch some of those, you know, some of those cards again as well. If, you know, England performs well against Ukraine, maybe Belgium performs well against Italy or vice versa, watch out for some of those cards that could go up, of course, uh, after a good game and a good performance. Then we also had, again, Weekend League Plus objectives, which surprised me a little bit. But this time, there's no um, requirement here. You don't have to actually go out and play with a certain nationality. You don't have to go out and play with a certain, I don't know, certain number of people in your squad. The win thresholds are way higher. 10, 16, and 22 after last week being 7, 12, and 15 with the France squad. So that's a bit of a buzzkill, I would say, to be completely honest. But I'm probably only going to get my 11 and get out this weekend as well. Uh, but at least there's extra player picks to play for. Honestly, it looks like they, this might be a part of Weekend League for the rest of this promo. But this is, again, breaking, I guess, what you could call the normal in seeing that we have Weekend League Plus rewards on a weekend where it's a promo weekend. So a little bit of a surprise there. Not a ton, just a little bit. Uh, but that is something that we can look forward to this weekend as well. Now, I made a couple moves on the market. I mean, I sold all of those hours that I had. I sold the Chillwells pregame yesterday, 115 and 120. I just took my coins. Of course, I could have made more, but you know what? It is what it is. Sold all my hours for big Ws, took a nice loss on LaCroix, that are LaCroix that I forgot to sell there. And I bought two Griezmanns at 840,000 coins. I might've showed you on the video last night. I do not remember, uh, but this dude's about to be a million coins. So I think that if I get a million flat for this, I'm pretty happy with it uh, for you know a day and a half hold. That's some pretty, really solid uh, profit right there. I also bought a Mason Mount, like right after England won. I don't know if this card's going up at all, but I wondered if any of those English links would go up. It looks like apart from a couple at 180K, he's right around 190. So maybe, maybe I can sell that at 200K if the hype continues to build into the day today on Wednesday. But again, as we're looking into this Wednesday of content, I 100% expect to see at least one, if not both, of these SBCs released today. Not sure what other content that we'll have, but again, yesterday we did call some sort of upgrade pack coming that 83 times 10 was released. So GG's there. Um, but again, if there's any other pack like that today, it's just going to be one that you save until Friday with the new promo uh, coming out in this game. So I'm not expecting a super eventful Wednesday. 
but we will have to see what EA have up their sleeve and if they surprise us with any of that. If any of those packs are tradable, that's going to impact the market, of course. If they're not, which I'm probably leaning towards them not being tradable, um, you know, that might impact the market a little bit less, but still, nonetheless, should be supplying people's clubs with that fodder that they need to do SBC. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Photo Count, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.